Good afternoon folks, welcome back to 4th Level Chemistry. Uh, in today's lesson I would like to move on from our last topic where we looked at organic chemistry. Uh, that's chemistry based around the element carbon. Of course, we looked at quite a few um, terms and families of hydrocarbons there. Uh, there's a one member of a family here, I wonder if you could pause the video and tell me what it is. If you have forgotten the content of the last section, you will need to know it for this one, folks. So I might put a link in the description down below to a, to a video I've just made for my fourth years, in fact. Um, reminding them and you of all the alkanes, alkenes, and all the names and how that worked in the last topic. Because you will need to have that in your brain for when we're doing these. Anyway, let's move on. Hopefully you can pause the video and tell me that this is molecule of ethene here. Um, we're going to have a look at two different learning outcomes today. We're going to have a look at how polymers are actually formed, and we're going to have a look at some new words to do with polymers. Um, before we go any further, let's bring in some more ethene molecules. And let's revise our definition of what a polymer is. Poly means many. Um, so a polymer is basically a huge long molecule made by stitching many, many smaller molecules together. So polymers are just huge molecules, and they're made from smaller molecules joined together. I'm hoping you can maybe take a guess and see why I've got three molecules of ethene on the page here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Uh, sorry about the printer ink, by the way. I was wrestling with my printer earlier on and, and losing. Um, so we're going to take these three ethene molecules, we're going to join them together, and we're going to make a small chunk out of a polymer molecule. Now we can see there are double bonds, and hopefully you can remember um, the name of the type of reaction from the last topic that it's called when we break double bonds and turn them into single bonds. If you can't remember, now you might want to pause the video and go and see if you can look it up yourself. I'm going to tell you the answer, of course, in 10 seconds, but it will stick in your brain better if you go and look it up. What was the name of the type of the reaction where we broke the double bonds and turned them into single bonds only? It's an addition reaction. So let's do that. If I had a pair of scissors, by the way, I could actually snip these bonds. That's much closer to reality. Um, and then I'd have to glue the half ends of the bonds together, but I don't want to damage my molar mode, sorry. So instead, it's not a perfect representation, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, and that, and that. And I'm also going to introduce this onto here. You'll see why in just a second or so. Can you see any way I could join these molecules up to each other? I'm now I'm hoping that you can. I'm hoping you're shouting at the screen. Yeah, just take that bond there and pop it into the empty bond space on here and pop that into there. And we end up with this. Slightly clumsy. Let me wrestle with this molecule. Two seconds, guys. Sorry. Straighten things out a lot. There we go. Now, some of you might be shouting on the screen and saying, oh yeah, you've made ethene, sorry, you've made, I do apologise, you've made hexane, one, two, three, four, five, six, because it's all single bonds. Uh, the single bonds part is true, because that's what addition reactions do. They take double bonds, and they turn them into single bonds. But I'm hoping you'll notice that it's going to continue off the end here, so we can break open other uh, ethene molecules, and we can just keep doing this. In fact, if I remember correctly from my university days, your average polymer made of this has approximately 10,000 carbon atoms in it. I'm not going to do 10,000 carbon atoms. So let's keep it simple and just take that off there and we'll leave this bond dangling here and we'll leave this bond dangling here and that will show that this chain just continues out 10,000 times in each direction. This is a little chunk of a polymer. That's what we've made, guys. Now, some questions. Because I said I would show you how polymers are formed, and that's what I've just done. We take alkene molecules, you break open the double bond, and you hook the alkenes to each other like paper clips, joining up to form a big long chain. 
I also said I was going to throw some new words at you. So let's start with the first new word, which is the proper name for the small molecules that we joined together. In our case, they were ethene molecules. That is true, but because we're joining them up to make a big long chain, these are now called monomers. Mono meaning one. So the monomer, it was the little molecule that we started with. In our case, let's just reform it. That was our monomer. So today's monomer was ethene. The joining up process. There's a fancy name for that as well. We're making a polymer. So when we join the monomers together, so let's see, I had ethene. And we joined them to each other to make a polymer. And we said earlier on that these are called, this is the monomer. There's a fancy name for the joining process as well. Because you're making a polymer, this, the proper name for this, is polymer, polymer, spell it right, eh? Isation, polymerization, is the process of joining in order to make your polymer. So polymerization is joining monomers together, 10,000 of them, to make one single polymer. Happy with that? And because it was an addition reaction, this is actually called addition polymerization. Remember addition reactions, where rewind the video if you want, it's just where we split apart the double bonds and turn them into singles. That's how we hooked the ethenes to their neighbours to make a polymer. And this is polymerization. Um, there's one more thing I'd like to do just before we finish. There is a name, I keep just calling this polymer, but there is a proper name for the polymer that we make from ethene. Don't suppose you could take a stab at working out what the name is. I bet you've heard this name before. It's actually very easy. What is the proper name of this polymer? And the answer to that is, all you do is take the name of your monomer, which in our case was ethene, And in front of it, believe it or not, you just pop the word poly. So our polymer that we made today, guys, is called polyethene. Now, you're probably thinking, that sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah, that's because we tend to drop the middle eth, and we tend to just call it polythene. Because it rolls off the tongue easier. But the proper name for polythene is polyethene, and that's because it, the polyethene, contains many, many ethenes all joined together. Happy with that? So, very quick recap on all that, guys. How polymers form. You start with a monomer that's got a double bond in it. You crack these double bonds open. You join many, many of these small molecules called monomers together in a big long chain, and you end up with your polymer molecule. This process of joining is called addition polymerization. And you make a polymer. How do you name the polymer? Well, whatever the name of the monomer was, you simply stick poly in front of it. Don't worry about that one. That's just the abbreviated one. As I said, that's not the correct term in real life. The actual proper term is polyethene. So if my monomer had been, say, butene, and I joined 10,000 butenes together, you'd make polybutene which is used in car tyres and various other things. I think I'd like to stop there for this video. I'll go on to make a second polymers video, which will deal with slightly more complex molecules than ethene. And I'll also show you how to do it on the written version without using the molly mods. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.